One of the questions I often get is, what should I wear to court? Now, some of my colleagues will say something like, well, dress nice. Let me be very candid with you. I live in absolute fear of people dressing nice for court because I don't know what dressing nice is to them. Let me give you an example. The other day I was in court and sure enough, someone got turned away because they were in flip-flops and cut off shorts. To them, that was dressing nice for court. I mean, after all, they had talked to their friends and their family and in their world, that was okay. Well, here's something you need to know. The judge, the prosecutor, the jury, they are going to judge you by how you're dressed for court. It may not be fair, it may not be moral, but it's very real. So depending upon where your case is, we're going to send you dress instructions for court. Now, if we're going to handle your case and you're not going to go to court at all because we're going to be able to do that for some reason or another, then you won't need to follow them because obviously you won't be in court. But if you go to court for any reason whatsoever, make sure that you follow the instructions in that you know, email attachment that we send out and follow them exactly. A common example I get uh, in terms of people not fully understanding what I'm talking about is something like this. Well, I don't have a navy blue suit. I have a black one. Is that okay? And we're talking about a jury trial scenario. This comes up quite often. And my response is, well, do you want to increase the likelihood of going to jail or prison or decreasing it? And everybody takes the second choice. Well, that's why we give specific recommendations based on which court your case is going to be heard in. So since success leaves clues, let's do what research and experience has shown to be successful when it comes to what you wear to the courtroom.